Asteroid Terror. NASA is concerned because a huge space rock has been discovered days ago and is hurtling towards our Earth. This is happening too often lately, I have a, I have a feeling. It's just uh, unbelievable. This is by Millie Bull on Express UK. This one now is a 134 foot asteroid hurtling towards us, 134 foot across at 22,500 miles an hour. It was discovered just days ago. This is 2019 QY5, discovered two days ago. It's hurtling towards Earth for the first time ever. The rock will reportedly pass Earth safely later on today. The recent report from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory categorizes the body as a near-Earth object. The objects are either comets or asteroids that orbit between 91 million miles and 121 million miles from the Sun. This is all according to NASA. NEOs, near-Earth objects, can venture as far as 30 million miles from Earth's orbit and they can go as close to Earth's surface as a few times the distance of the Moon or even closer. After analyzing this asteroid, 2019 QI5, JPL classified the rock as an Amer-type asteroid. Unlike the Apollo and Aten asteroids, the Amer asteroids, A-M-O-R, follow an orbital path that allows them to safely approach Earth without crossing into our planet's orbit, thank goodness. ASA also explained that Aten and Apollo asteroids can actually cross the Earth's orbit as they circle the Sun. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, CNEOs, the asteroid could be 59 feet in diameter and more than 134 feet across. The space rock is not one of the largest NEOs to hurdle past our Earth, but it's still big compared to some of Earth's more recent visitors. Asteroid 2019 QI5 is nearly four times bigger than the 34-foot asteroid that skimmed past our Earth just a few days ago, August 20, uh, 21st. But the 34-foot space rock passing by us was closer to Earth than the Moon was. Asteroid QY5, this one that's passing today, will not pose any threat to Earth or any of its inhabitants, thank goodness. I'll leave links below for you for this. What's evident to me is that um, we don't have a good enough earth protection system against these types of object, objects. Not at all. It's just as if we're sitting ducks, basically. Now this asteroid, QY5, will pass by our Earth at a distance of 2.5 million miles, which is 10.73 times the distance from Earth to Moon. Previously, the rock passed by Jupiter about a century ago, they said, and the object will be passing Jupiter again in 2098, then returning to our Earth for a second time in 2112. NASA estimates that at least 95% of asteroids that are one kilometer, that's 3,280 feet or larger, have been cataloged with none posing a threat to Earth. I mean, that's huge. A kilometer is huge. God forbid if they can't see them. But, you know, there are, most of the times, these small asteroids they do not see. It's a matter of luck. Now, the more realistic danger comes from space rocks the size of 2006 QQ23, which could flatten an entire city. These are called city killer asteroids. And, of course, millions of lives could be lost depending on where they hit causing widespread destruction in the event of a direct hit. Experts believe the key to avoiding this type of a scenario is by going beyond planet killers finding all the asteroids that could be hitting the Earth. Space Group B612's President Danica Remy claims the risk to Earth from asteroids is very small in the short term, but inevitably in the long term it will be a problem. Speaking to NBC, she said she was 100% convinced 
of a future collision. She said it's 100% certain that we're going to get hit, but we're not 100% certain when. And she con continues saying, explaining that the kind of devastation that we'd be looking at is more of a regional level than a planetary level, but is still going to have global impact on transportation, networking, climate, and weather. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.